Why do most companies get it wrong when it comes to their financial plan, and can the zero-based budgeting principle actually help to improve their performance overall? Yeah, so the biggest mindset challenge that I think most organizations have in doing a financial plan is that there's an implicit presumption that they have a right to revenue in the next year because they've got revenue this year. And so the way that most financial plans are created is they start with saying, well, what did we do in the prior year? What's the market growing like? What will our share be in that continuing growing market? And then what's our profit target? And then how much can we afford to spend in order to make that profit target given the revenue that we'd get? Of course, the world works in literally the opposite way. You, the, you spend money to create revenue, not, you know, revenue magically grows on trees and then we just spend money so that we could but have profit. This goes on year after year in companies. This goes on year after year and we just presume until it doesn't work, right? And when it doesn't work, we get into the vicious cycle that we describe in the book where we put, we, we continue to challenge, we try to, you know, comply more with best practices until we hit rock bottom. We think that financial planning can be done better by uh, taking that zero-based approach that you say and actually starting with human behavior. Starting by saying what behavior do we want to cause in the marketplace and what's the amount of money the, that we would need to spend in ter in, 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 to cause that behavior to take place. And then it's okay to have a, an economic hypothesis to say, well, what would be the results, our, our financial success? But because we tend to focus on the financial aspect of it, we tend to make up financial spreadsheets to conform to a view of the world that is based on the past as opposed to what we're trying to achieve in the world.